that um, I am in this alone. And when I say I, I mean we. But if the show ever lost ratings, that we would be off the air. I know this. But what is this behind-the-scenes information? No, it's just that even the, you know, listen, I, I love working for this company. We've always had a good relationship, but... Uh, when they when they brought Imus into the fold and, and all that, it killed me. It, mm. it literally killed me because I had that guy down. He, he was nowhere, and they pumped he money into him. He was almost out. Yeah. yeah, he was almost out. We almost had him out on his ass. But the company, again, uh, chooses to insult me, to make a mockery of my career, and your career, my lovely princess. <laughs> The honeymoon is clearly over. Obviously, this company hates me. What do they do? Well, should I go into it? I mean, I just know they hate me. Well, I know you have this feeling. There is a young man who... Uh, all right, I'll tell you why this company hates me. If somebody made the comment about me... Mm -hmm. I'm going to read you a guy's... Com they just hired a new guy at this company. And this is uh, him in the newspaper talking about me. Okay. Um, Howard Stern is a bully, and he's getting rich at the expense of other people. What? Hmm. Um, Howard Stern, you have to have sympathy for a guy like that. He's obviously been seriously abused himself. He says that's no excuse to act out on helpless victims like Jessica Hahn simply because it's good radio. It just makes you another Jim Baker. I'm saying, shut up, Howard. New York's had enough of you. Howard panders to people's worst instincts and profits off the misery of others. He was once exciting and new. Now he's boring and rich. The individual who made these comments about me has been hired by Infinity Broadcasting. In what capacity? To walk the halls. The same halls that I walk. He's going to be in here? He's already in here. He already works here. Is it somebody I know? Tom Chiasano insults me on a daily basis. <laughs> he didn't say those things. No, not Tom. Oh. <laughs> but when he hires people who do this, let me tell you something. I know the owner of this company. If anybody ever said anything about him like this, oh, forget about. They it. would never be allowed to be hired in the entire Infinity chain. It That's wouldn't right. be like, oh, you can hire him and he's not here. Never for Infinity. The man who made these comments about me is Dave Herman's new producer. No. Ooh. A guy named Buff. Oh. I don't know what Buff is. Do you, have you met this individual? Uh, for a briefly when I did Dave's show. Yeah, and what do you have to say to you? He's very nice. Oh, very nice to you. Yeah. Well, why, why if he's insulting my program and what I do for a living, why is he hired at my station? Why? 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 Why am I allowed to sit in, in the halls with these people, these morons? If I'm such a bad person, what's he doing working yeah, with me? Yeah, why would he come to work here? Get him out of here! Get him away from me! If he had any integrity, he wouldn't come and work for this <gasps> Wait company. Wait a second, I'm having a heart attack. Really, would somebody... Uh, oh, my God. I'm not kidding. Maybe I should run away if you <sighs> faint. <laughs> uh, what are you saying? No, we do need oxygen. I'm hyperventilating. I'm not kidding. Jeez. I'm not kidding. I'm hyperventilating. Anybody got a brown paper bag? Don't just sit there, Baba Booey. No, wait. Give me a brown paper bag. Put it over your head, Baba Booey. Oh, he's so ridiculous. <laughs> I can't stand looking at you. <laughs> he's fan. I'm being serious. Would you just do the show for a few minutes? Let me go walk around the block. Would you mind? I need to go take a walk. Would you carry on for a few minutes? If you want to get up and leave, can I'll I get carry up and on. leave? I can't. Sure. I can't take work in here. Just give me five minutes to go recover. I just got to go get some air. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm being serious. Excuse me. You talk to Jackie and Fred. Uh, I gotta go. Goodbye. Uh, I gotta leave. I got. I, I don't know why they're the, doing could this. Could you to give me. me those papers? Because I would love to see where those statements were made. Here, here. I threw them uh, here. You threw them. Give these to Rob. I'm just gonna go get some air. All right. I have never in the entire course of my radio career gone out and gotten some air, no, but I just never by yelling I just hyperventilated. I apologize. Oh, well, let me see. Turn off that music. I'm not kidding. Oh, okay. this I've never was in like this. Don't walk the that New time. York Post. Don't let me see Tom. This one. The problem now is that the me. joke is getting stale. Get that camera off. I think Howard and Tom are out in the hallway. Uh oh, you're kidding. I hope they're not. I hope they're not fighting. Like I haven't heard a word. We but... did with our old general manager. Hold on. No, I'm sure. How, uh, if Tom's out there, he must be trying to calm <laughs> Howard down. Oh yeah. Sure. <laughs> it won't help, but.
I'm sure that's what he's trying to do. Robin, did you have any indication that that's how the guy felt when you met him? Never. He was perfectly polite. And this is what I find with people most times. They're sniveling cowards. They'll say this stuff in print, but they won't say it to your face. Where is it from? This uh, particular statement is from the New York Post. The problem now is that the joke is getting stale. We believe what we say about Howard and Sis Buff. He is exploitative. He's a bully, and he's getting rich at the expense of others. This isn't like an old comment? Or In anything? fact, yeah. this was the guy who worked with Kurt Chaplin. Exactly. Oh, I did not it. know the about... Kurt Chaplin was a guy we used to work you with know what? at uh, NBC. He was a fill-in traffic reporter. Right. Why don't you describe this guy? Because we have no vibe if he's young or old. He's a pretty he's young, young guy. guy. He's probably yeah, he's about 30. Yeah. And, uh, you know, clean cut. Yeah. But I think you might have actually had a chance to see him if you uh, ever saw Howard's press conference on E announcing that he was going to be on E. Yeah. Remember those guys right. showed up? Do you remember that, Howard? What? Those guys showed up to your I press conference at E. I tried. I didn't realize the association. He was the guy who worked with Kurt Chaplin for a while. I, you know what? I went into a room and I sat down and I tried to collect myself. Tom Chiasano started banging on the door trying to get me out of there. But Oh, really? <sighs> you feel better? What? You feel a little yeah, better? Yeah, I feel a little better. Feel a little better. Where is Tom? What does he want? What did from he me? try to do? He, I don't know. You he never was trying to get me out of the room, but I, I, I almost had a nervous breakdown. I'm sorry. I, uh... Company continues to humiliate me. Yeah, I just, I didn't, I had no idea. Yeah. Who this guy was. Are you okay? I, no, I, I was having heart palpitations. I had to, I had to go calm down. I had to splash some water on my face. Tom, did you know about this guy's history? I had no idea these. Sure, he knew. Of course, he knows. I did not. He does it to insult me. I know. Of course, I don't. Good screening. What do you mean you didn't know? Who, uh, how do you hire people? Who is this guy that he he comes here? And why would he work, want to work here if I'm, I'm such a skunk? I'm, I'm sure he would retract that statement. <laughs> oh, I bet he would. Oh. What good would that do? It's in print. Yeah. See, what these guys don't know is, whenever someone new is hired here, I scan their names through my computer. And in my computer, I pull up the names of anybody who's made up negative comments out of me. Do you really? Janji, come in here. What did I do yesterday? He'll tell you. Did I not take... When I heard this guy's name, I said, this sounds familiar to me. Buff. You'll never forget it. What did I do? We looked it up in the computer. Right. Did I scan every name in that computer? Abs absolutely. That's right. That's right. I'm unbelievable. <laughs> Abs absolutely. You know what? An elephant. Let me tell you something in business, Tom. You need to know this because I know you take a lot of seminars. An elephant never forgets. <laughs> I got to have a long memory. And you know who taught me that? Who? The boss of this company. He told me, you got to have a long memory. Your enemies are your enemies. Your enemies are your enemies. They can never be your friends. If he says, if somebody says something bad about me, out and see, forever. <laughs> and I used to say, boy, that's pretty cold. Now I see what he means. You can't let people step all over you. That's all right. You know, why don't you hire uh, um, uh, everyone? They've I already done <laughs> Hire Mark and Brian to, to uh, produce Dave's show. Be more specific than everyone. We can't afford everyone. Why am I insulted like this, Tom? Why? I, why what did I do wrong? I have no idea. Why does the company hire I, I Why does the company do this to me? My sworn enemies. Why? I you might as well hire DeBella. Oh, you did. Oh, oh. I mean, or, or let's go get the Grease Man. Yeah. Oh, you have, oh, you have him. Yeah. Why don't you hire the Grease Man? The guy who tried to take my money, my paycheck from me at DC 101. He did that already. Yeah. <laughs> who took my paycheck. He By got the way, it. Do you notice? What? Oh, nice. new, uh, new uh, wall. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Why does the company insult me like this, Tom? Seriously. Did you get that for Buff? Yeah. You want a buff? Buff complaint? comes. You fix the wall. <laughs> I am buff. I'm bu I like to buff your. Why nose, do we sorry. hire? Why do we hire people? Who, I had no who are idea. My enemies who, who sat there and tried to ruin I, um, my career. I, I can't answer for the. This and why one, is the buff? The only thing I can tell you on this one is I had no idea those comments had been made, and uh, I'm sure. How did he come to your attention? Yeah. How do we get this buff who uh, says that I am destroying people's lives? I'm destroying you radio. The people's yeah. worst instinct. Why, why is this guy here? Why do I have to run into him? Why do I, I have to be around know. him? I wouldn't hire anyone who says that about you, except me. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, I would never in print say that about you. And, and that you ruin people's lives. And I would never say anything bad about you. Me neither. But because we're on the same team. How right, absolutely. How did we wind up hiring Buff? Uh, Buff and Buff's not even funny. Buff's on the, I wouldn't mind if he made some funny comments, uh, uh, but what is that? Would you accept an apology? From who? Buff? Yeah. I don't need to speak to him. Just keep him away from me. 
Keep them away from me because you know what? But How I, many months are left on my contract, Jackie? I'm not going to be working with Buff much longer. Right, we don't work with Buff them now. Buff can take over the morning show. You don't work with them oh, now? Oh, I do too. I consider everyone on this staff yeah. my family. It's a team. It's a team. Howard is old and boring or rich or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. Why would you Buff work with me? Why don't we let show? Buff do the morning show? Maybe what he, is my contract? Maybe he up? wants a loan. How many months? Uh, May, June, July, August, September, October. Six months. Six we're not months. Counting November. So I'm not counting November because November the contract's over. Six months and me and Buff split company. I thought Andre was bad. <laughs> Do you want to know how? Wow. If you want to know how Buff came to us, I actually know. Yeah. He was Dave's pr uh, producer. Well, I, know. I, mean, I know. Yeah, and Dave and has no problem with it, huh? Dave doesn't know I'm, anything you know, about I bet it. You Dave didn't know you. Oh yeah, D Dave's in a coma. Everybody around here is in. Nobody a coma. knows. Dave didn't. Thank God knows I got. Anything. Thank God I got the back cave with the back computer. Dave That's not true. I knew. That's what I wanted to. <laughs> I've never seen this guy, Buff. What, what 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 are his talents? What has he done with his career that he's such I don't a knowledgeable know. I, person I about radio? was saying such nice things about him. A couple of days ago, I know he produced Dave's show at NEW. I know that that they're hoping that he'll enhance Dave's already great show here. Right, and I think he's going to help. Beautifully said. Uh, I think, <laughs> hey, I'm not. I got to ride the fence. Right. I think. Um. I think he's supposed to help book guests. And uh, he's I a producer. He's a producer. He's a producer. Okay. Well, he's done a lot with his career that he knows so much about me. How does he know so yeah, much well, about me? Yeah. How does he get to comment? You tell on that Howard. punk, him and his friend uh, Kurt. You tell Kurt, you ask Kurt what I did for him in his career and how I got him work at NBC, and then he backstabbed me. I don't talk to backstabbers. Him and Kurt are backstabbers. You tell them to take a flying leap off a bridge. You tell them for me, Baba Booey. Are you my are you my consigliere? Absolutely. All right, you go tell Buffy today that he's on my enemy list. But and we and if I see him in the hall, well, we you have better have run for the down, hills because I'm going to get a hold of the guy. Calm down, you're going to hyperventilate. We again. have a problem. Get him out of here. We have a problem, Howard. How do we handle... Uh, There's going to be okay, his, and I'm not doing the Dave Herman show anymore. His <laughs> and I'm not listening I'm to Dave's show Dave anymore. Show. I don't even listen to Dave anymore. Yeah, yes. No, I'm not gonna. You love that. No, show. I don't love it. Yes, I don't do. like Dave or his show. Yes, don't like who he associates. with. I don't like the production values. I'm not listening to it anymore. <laughs> I'm going to forbid the audience from listening to it too. Howard, that's right. I just, that's right. Now you've gotten Tom's attention. He's yeah. seen this as a joke before. I Nobody listen to Dave in the afternoon. See, we got we have a problem, and here's a problem. Buff's office is directly across from my office. Yeah. So uh, they move be, it. He gets in around, you know, sometimes around 12:30, and sometimes you're leaving. Yeah. How do I keep you guys from running into each other? Move should office. I just say? Should I you demand? tell Buff I don't want him in here until 2:30. That's when I'm glad. <laughs> I don't mind. care. I don't want him around me. I okay. have a solution. He can keep. He his... can call to check if Howard's here. And right. if Howard's not, uh, then he can come in. Right. Brilliant, Rob. That's Thank right. Thank you so much. That is brilliant. <laughs> Tom, I'm not kidding about this. It's an insult. And you know what? If someone had said that about anyone who worked in this company, you wouldn't would never hire be somebody who had said that about you, Tom. Of course not. Tom only hires. Oh, it's a joke. It's a joke with no, Howard. I didn't know. I, I had no That's idea. That's an insult. That, I had no idea. He's a about nobody. The he's, a, he's a nothing. He no doesn't like idea. what I do. Why should he work with me? No idea. And I'm sure he... Let him sit in the bathroom stalls until I leave. Tell him to hide in the bathroom stall. That's right. Stall. He should never be in the hall when Howard's Smell Jackie. in the hall. Smell Jackie. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. I'll bet you any amount of money that like Dave's office gets moved to a different part of the building. Good. Good. Where you wouldn't have to cross. I don't... Let him move into another building. Different building. Let Dave do his show from another building. Maybe Dave could do his show from home. Yeah. He should. Why should Dave's life be disrupted for the, for work? And this way he can stay in bed. Right. <laughs> he doesn't have to lounge out in the right. chairs here. Doing myself in bed and playing autism with me. It's a big joke. Everyone laugh it up. Oh, I blew my stack yesterday. I was I was almost like I a rocket ship. I can't believe that you actually that name jogged your memory. Once you my said, com uh, once I hear a name that yeah. it fouls me. Who is a radio enemy? I don't forget. He, this guy think he's this guy must be walking through the halls thinking I forgot. He must. He must think I'm stupid. He doesn't know I got a computer. He hasn't come and introduced himself. You got to understand something. I had uh, IBM set up computers for me just for this purpose. Yeah. So I could get my enemies to a sec. I hit a button yesterday. I took this guy's name Buff. B U F F. I, I, I put a percentage mark next to the F so it would search out everything that said Buff. Mm. This is why I hang around with Jeff Schick. He's certainly not a personality. <laughs> not a cool guy. Not a cool guy. But man, oh man, it is a payoff. <laughs> I sit at the computer and Buff. And I'm sitting there waiting and waiting. I said, Buff, Buff. I know that name, Buff. And I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. All of a sudden, the first thing spits out. It moves real quick. Yeah. About a minute later, I pull out the first piece of paper. Howard Stern is a skunk, says Buff. Next one. 
Howard Stern is a jerk, says Buff. <laughs> Howard Stern is insulting. He's as bad as Jim Baker, who raped Jessica Hahn, says Buff. <laughs> says Buff. 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 I'm ripped. I go, man, oh, man. Now I know who my friend is. IBM. <laughs> <laughs> God bless the computer. <laughs> yeah, Buff could have slipped right through. He would have slipped. I, I, I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have known. We almost made it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where is this guy? Have Let you him come met to me. him? Have you ever met no. him? He's not coming no, in. No, 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 no. I thought no. maybe he'd done that. That yeah. would be the ultimate sleeve. He's a real wise ass. You know something? When he was making those comments about me in the paper every day, and when he was, I had a press conference for E, and he came up yeah. and challenged me. I said, fine, okay, you want to challenge me, fine. But I got news for you. This company owns a lot of radio stations, and one day after your stupid morning show fails, you're going to need a job, and you're going to come here, and my company isn't going to hire you, you squat head. Right. My company is going to screw you. And you know what my company did? They hired him. They hire him. They hire him! Like they hire Imus! Imus! Garbage head! No talent, nothing, piece of garbage! Six months is left on my contract. <laughs> what are you laughing I'm at? Sorry, I you laugh like it. a mental patient. <laughs> oh, Tom, go back there and play with your folding no, golf club. Alone. Yeah, go back and play with the golf alone. club. Where's his folding golf club? I got to show everyone what he's got. I'm going to show it. I'm going to put that on the e-show. Your folding golf club. I, I played with that yesterday. Did you really? That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do me a favor. Would you write buff on this guy's head so I can recognize him when he walks down the halls? A little, uh, yeah. little thing hanging from his chest. I, and I said to I Something said tells me I said apology to, will be I coming. was I was with what my agent. An apology? Ah, apology. I don't need no apology. Apology passed. I said to my agent at the time, Fruit you know what? Basket. Everything always comes back to haunt these guys. Yeah. I said, This guy, he's being a big shot now, he's challenging me. My company, Infinity Broadcasting. This is a big radio company. It's a big radio company. They own like thirty Best. radio stations. How many Best. radio stations do they own? It's over thirty now. Over thirty. Ohio. This guy's gonna need a job one yeah. day. I think. And they'll teach him the lesson. Oh, he could be a big shot now. But a year from now, two years from now, this guy will need a job, and that's when he'll get taught a lesson. Nobody gets taught a lesson. There that's okay. No lessons. Let me tell you something. I'm starting my own radio company, and that day will come where I could teach people a lesson. No one will work there. <laughs> look at this. This is what Tom does back in the office. I just no. want you to know he's not busy. Here, look at this. See this golf club? Now, if you swing this golf club wrong, the whole golf club collapses. <laughs> if you true. swing it right, did you did you ever see this? You saw it? Yeah, I saw it. Did you see it? Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. Watch this. All right, now you see my swing? He should show. If I go straight like this, you really? notice? Now, did you see how it bends? Yeah. If you do it wrong, it bends. <laughs> well, Dean. <laughs> and then if you, Hello, Dean. if you go like this, like, if you go like. You gotta keep your left arm stiff. Yeah. This. <laughs> See, you can't even do it right. Lock in. Tom, you do it. Here we go. He's the pro. Right. Now watch this. Now this he can do. No, Tom does it good. If you do it like this, yeah, yeah. it doesn't break down. How right. does that know? Look at that. Well, he's a good golfer. Right. His yeah. handicap like is that. his personality. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's handicapped by his personality. <laughs> now that make it go yeah. bad. Right. I just did. Oh. oh, I see. Okay. Very How good, Tom. How much money did that cost? <laughs> I bought it for him, remember? All right. <laughs> Oh my God! My heart oh, it was hurts. Really expensive. I got so upset. I got really so upset expensive. because here was my chance <laughs> to finally have somebody taught a lesson. It doesn't matter, Tom. I know where it's at. As long as I get the ratings, you guys will keep me. Nah, uh, you know, I love keep you me know. around. Nah, you don't. You don't yes. love me. Oh, yeah. Don't you stop love with the love bit. Oh yeah. You're gonna move him into your house when he's down on his luck. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a room in my house. You wouldn't even let me ice wherever. hockey with your son. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm a bad influence. <laughs> It'll be a drug addict if I get a hold of him. I shouldn't. Uh, I, I guess I shouldn't bring up the uh, the flyers. Do you remember the flyers? What? That, this, this guy Buff passed around. Flyers? Yeah. Yeah, I remember it. It was a big picture of you, and it was a Ghostbusters thing. Yeah, yeah. What? Prove your love to me. Fire buff right now. Oh well, I, I think you should, be given, you, I think you should be given the opportunity to apologize. No. Well, he can apologize from here to tomorrow. I'm not interested. I don't want to be. I don't want to see him. I'm tired of, of, of having a... Why does Howard have to be the big guy to accept all of these people? Because Howard is a big guy. I'm 6'5". That's about as big as it is. I'm not a big <laughs> guy. I'm not a big guy emotionally. Why, why do I have to feel bad for this guy? Well, you don't shouldn't have to feel bad for him. 
So he loses his job. He's a town. He's a major talent. He'll have no problem he getting work. You ought to be work. careful about what he says. Oh, I agree. He's the skunk, not me. At least if I say someone's a skunk, he's a skunk. And he remains a skunk. Yeah. Can't change. It doesn't matter. I'll work with whoever you hire, Tom. Kill me if you want. No, I wouldn't want to do just, that. You know, why don't you just put the knife in my back right on oh. camera here so we have evidence. Okay. You're doing it slow. You might as well just get it over with fast. OJ Chisholm. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. You're worse than the guy who cut the wires to my broadcast in Cleveland when you do this to me. Worse than the guy. <laughs> do you know the guy who cut the wires in Cleveland? Why don't you hire him? I think that he, they're talking. Are they talking? Infinity is talking <laughs> yeah. with him? Engineer, yeah, he's going to be the chief engineer they're of our talking. station. Yeah, hire him. <laughs> What's the difference? Are we on the air? Ah. <laughs> hire, hire, what's his name? Al Alfred. Alfred. Uh, uh, yeah, I forget. I don't know. I, I'll look it up in my computer so you guys can. Yeah, I'll look up give all my enemies. Why I'll give you a list of enemies. Why don't you give him a list of people exactly. who are available who right. are your enemies? Them. Right. Why don't you get, you know, you know what? Um, I think it was a... Uh, 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 a Brandon Tart, not Brandon Tartikoff. It was uh, Grant Tinker fired me at NBC. Uh, why don't we hire him to run the company? <laughs> why don't you hire Robin's father <laughs> to do uh, to do middays <laughs> with his ham hands? Sex therapy. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you insult her like that? <laughs> Alfred, Buff, Mr. Quivers, Imus, Hitler, no. <laughs> Who Grease would you Man. Not hire? <laughs> Who who's next? Who is next? Who, what, who, how will you insult me next? I've it doesn't matter. Never you know what? It doesn't matter because nobody cares about me here anyway. Oh, yes, we do. I am a worker, B. I understand. If you want to have your way, you got to own your own company. Am I correct? True or false? I mean, ultimately. Ultimately, I mean, yes. I, I th Thank I, you. I think, I Thank think you. you get pretty much your own way. When I have my own company, I'm not hiring you because you're a traitor. Oh. You're a traitor to me. <laughs> I was going to give you a, I was going to triple your salary. <laughs> you were going to be a very wealthy man. But now you're not going to be. Now you're going to be stuck here. No, don't think and I hope they hire all your enemies. Don't think of me. Think of Tim. Who is your worst? Who's the person who beats you at golf the worst? Who's the, what's that man's name? What's that? There is nobody. There is nobody, really? You've never been beaten in golf? Oh, sure. All right, we're going to hire that guy. You're going <laughs> to... <laughs> Benedict Chiasano should have been his name. <laughs> well, listen. Listen, you got to hire who you have to hire. Obviously, Dave Herman couldn't find the producer anywhere else, but from a guy who is... We have 75 quotes in the newspaper oh, yeah. bad-mouthing uh, I'll, I'll bet you Dave does, didn't even know. Oh, Dave knew. Of course Dave, Dave knows. Dave this guy, please. Did Dave know? I mean, Dave doesn't know this guy? Well, I, he knows the guy. Oh, but he, he didn't, didn't know, know that it. he made those statements. No, Dave doesn't oh, read the papers. Busy on Prodigy. Well, I'm not going to get involved in this. Should I? I yeah, why not? I don't you know, do you're another guy. I'm not sure I want. Problem. Why do? Why wouldn't you get involved? I'm not going to get involved. Are you a better friend? No, 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 I don't know the answers. Are you I don't know. Are you worried about Buff? <laughs> no, I'm not worried about Buff. I was just saying because I'm unsure. <laughs> I don't. Know. I know that one. You look like an angry monkey when you yell. I only know. I'll tell you what I do know. What do you know? One time, one time only. A little bit after this whole thing went down, I did see Kurt Chaplin in Dave's office. Oh, great! I told you that's good. Yeah, that's great. Have Kurt, have Kurt here, too. That's good. Kurt, the biggest backstab. I've had him to my house. I had him to my, my daughter when she was first born at the party. I got him work at NBC. I, let him, I asked for him to work on my show and do sports, and that's how he pays me back. Why don't we hire him? Why don't we just hire all these losers? It doesn't matter to me. In six months, I'm off of here. That's it. I've, done, I've served my time. Like the Army. I signed the contract. I signed the contract. I abide by my contract. And then I'm off. I retire. I'll be quiet, Tom. You can't wait for me to leave. Howard, I hate to interrupt the love fest, but Joan Rivers is here. Oh, okay. What's she doing here? What does she Rivers? want? <laughs> what, she going to come in here with those big giant sunglasses again? No, no, she brought a makeup guy and everything. Oh, fun. good. No she comes in here, half her face is covered with sunglasses. <laughs> she got a screen down. She goes, you're on, you're on TV now. I go, so what? Show your eyes. What are you afraid of? You don't look good. Everyone's so worried about how they look. Let me tell you something. Funny people should look bad, like me. <laughs> Jerry Lewis tried to make himself good looking. He stopped being funny. That's right. Eddie Murphy, another guy, tries to be good looking. There's a it's lesson not funny. There. You got to be ugly to be funny. <laughs> I know that. I could be good looking. I could have got my nose fixed. You are very funny. Yeah. Why don't you hire all those guys from Channel 9 that I used to argue with, too? We could hire them for management. <laughs> You know, it's what is amazing to me about Tom is that I don't think he feels this. No, he, he doesn't he feel. Never he doesn't understand. Understands. It. No. What you're feeling. 
Do you respect the owner of this company? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Mentally. He you know feels what his, his feelings. His feelings are felt. When he hears that somebody... Remember Donna Fiducia said something oh, bad oh, about him. My God, oh, my goodness. Oh, sure. she, and she came here for a job? You I, know what he told her? I remember listening to You know to what this? he said to her? Oh, I know exactly what did he, he say. He said, out and Z, you don't work ever for my company. And, and I That's know, how I'm going to be one day when I'm sticking up for myself. I, I and one of the said. best and brightest program directors in this country, the owner of our company once told him that he was dead to him. Right. He said, Ooh. that man was dead. He goes, you're dead to me. That's right. Told him to his face. And then yep. the guy walked up. He said, come on. We've known each other a long time. And the owner of our company mm -hmm. said, I hear something. There's wind blowing by me, but I don't know what it is. Exactly. And that's how I feel I should be treated. I have been a loyal soldier. When this guy Buff gets in the newspaper and bad mouths me for weeks on end, handing out bumper stickers and, and things with my face, I should be given the proper respect around here. But it's a big joke. Oh, listen, they hire Grease Man. Imus. Imus, the biggest no talent in the world. Put him on 50 stations. It's all right. I got a laundry list of things that I can't stand. But I don't, I, listen, I don't own the company. I know that. I'm a good soldier. You know what you don't do? You don't do what some of these people would do, which is to then stop doing your job well, boycott, stay no, home. No, I don't do strike, any of that. Make them Tom, give you more money. I don't any do of any of that. Stuff. You're, 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 you're the best. That's right. You really are. But when the contract's over, it's over. I know where it is. It's a contract. All right. I got Joan Rivers out there, Tom. I have to now Let's switch moves. Can I leave you with a thought? Go ahead. Don't play that thing. What's the thought? <laughs> you can't leave. Oh, stop it. I'll leave. And believe me, Buff will do mornings. It'll be great. Yeah. He's a great morning he's a, man. He knows more about it than uh, Howard does. He's, he certainly he does. He knows where his shortcomings are. Yeah. I uh, must tell you. All right. Goodbye, Tom. Please leave. And I will prepare myself for Joan Rivers. Uh, my name is Jimmy Buff, and I produce the afternoon show here at K-Rock. Um, so did you hear... All right, so what, what? basically, tell me what happened. How, how come you're here today? <laughs> um, well, a couple of years ago, I had a morning show here in New York City. And um, <clears throat> in the spirit of competitive radio, we said some baiting things to Howard. We, try, we were trying to pick a fight with Howard because we wanted him to talk about us. We wanted some attention. And uh, now that I'm working here, Howard is... Um, I guess going to get his pound of flesh. I have to take care of an unpleasant piece of business right now. In fact, oh, the rest of the show has... <laughs> the rest of the show's been real pleasant. <laughs> Let's see, we bad mouthed Linda Ronstadt and Kathy Lee Gifford. Then we jumped got, all over Scott. The, I, I made a mockery of Scott's whole career. <laughs> I sang a terrible song to Scott. And then, to top it all off, the American Red Cross came in and was supposed to announce that we're good people, but it took two or three times before they would do it. And now we have an unpleasant task. So you can imagine how unpleasant this is. Uh, as you know, from time to time, people try to make money off of my name. Mm-hmm. Do they have Schneider hanging out of my nose? I know the cameras are on. Mm, can't see any. This nostril right here, that's the problem one. Nope, don't oh, see I anything. See. Right, good, just checking. Well, what a job Gary has. <laughs> <laughs> He's good at it. Let me tell you something, Robin. I do that job with pleasure. OJ, I bet you'd like that job. <laughs> what? I bet you'd like to look up my nose. I would, I would love to. to. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, there are people who try to make a living off of my name, but once it in a happens. while it comes. Yeah, it, once in a while it comes back to bite them in the ass. A couple of years ago, uh, when I was on NBC Radio, I was uh, very friendly with a guy named uh, Kurt Chaplin. He was my. Uh, believe it or not, I actually had a sportscaster, and once in a while they would they would just keep changing around sportscasters. You know, in fact, I didn't even have to have a sportscaster. I liked Kurt, so I would get him work. I would and get him on. He was heavily into sports. Yeah, and he was kind of fun, and we would talk. But we, we would talk about a lot of stuff. I liked him. I thought he was a good performer, a fun guy. I um, I enjoyed working with the guy. I even uh, developed a bit of a personal relationship with him and his wife. Had him over my house. When my daughter was my first daughter was born, I had him to the house. He held my daughter. He brought gifts. I. Uh, you know, had a relationship with the guy. And uh, like so many people uh, in my life, they sell out. Years later, when uh, I guess I wasn't at NBC anymore through no fault of my own, and I was unable to get Kurt uh, work on my show, he went ahead and went on uh, another station, 
station you have to pay to get on or something, I don't know, and proceeded to badmouth me all over the place, which is his prerogative. Uh, there's no problem. Didn't even crash a news a press conference you were having. Yeah, I'd got my e-television show, and he crashed the press conference, and he uh, gave it to me pretty good at the press conference, and I gave it back to him. It was, uh, listen, if you dish it out, you should be able to take it, and I, I think I can, but it was... A bizarre chapter in my life because here was a guy that I really hung out with and told me he loved me and loved what I did and, and the whole thing. And it was rather emotional about me, quite frankly, and, and I, I for him. And it was just kind of weird when all of a sudden you see him and he was like a rabid dog attacking me for something. I don't know. He, I guess he was attacking me saying that I was a, a vicious, mean, horrible person. Hey, Kurt. Would you reconsider or re-examine your exploitation and abuse of people on the radio? Uh, let me tell Howard, you yes or Kurt. no, please. You're the guy who called me every weekend looking for a job on my radio show. Yes so if no, I'm so Howard, exploitive is, of people, how come you call true. me for you're a job, you big me baby? Right now. You're yeah, showing good. these people what I'm talking about. Yeah, we know what you're so talking would about. So you, would you care to re-examine your position yeah, of exploitation and abuse? Yeah, how come you saw me in an elevator the other the day? See, not, this is Howard. what I mean. I can't have a happy yes press conference. Not, this guy is starting up a radio show. He's trying to get a radio show going. And you, you know what? This is a question. guy who called me every and day for a job. It, Howard, you're and you're a big liar. You're a phony and a fake and a fraud. What I'm, you're what I'm a jerk. About. Thank you. Keep it up, Howard. Yeah, you're an idiot. And in the back of my mind at that time, I said, he's dead to me. He's dead to me. If he ever asked me for a favor or, you know, like right now, he doesn't need a favor. He has a job at another station. Mm -hmm. He's dead to me. That's all. It's different than the DeBella situation to me. It's different than even Imus. Because these are guys who, quite frankly, run the radio, especially DeBella. We came into town. We knocked him off. I was on fire. That's, that's the nature of the business. This was a guy I had a relationship with, a personal relationship. I never had a personal relationship with DeBella or Imus. And all of a sudden, he's turning around and attacking me. Fine. I just said the guy's dead to me. I certainly would not lift a finger to help him in his career now. Wouldn't. He worked with another guy named Buff. What is the guy's name? What is his name? Jim Buff. Jim Buff. Jim Buff. He worked with another guy, and Jim Buff, who I don't know from a hole in the wall, uh, was uh, ripping me a new a-hole all over the paper. And I just said, you know, that's okay. I rip people new a-holes all the time. But I'll tell you what, when it comes down to it, if they ever try to get a job where I'm working, I'm going to make sure they don't. I'm going to make sure that they don't work with me. Mm -hmm. And what did Jim Buff and uh, my friend Kurt have to say about me? They said, you have to have sympathy for Howard Stern. He's been seriously abused himself. There's no excuse for him to act out on helpless victims like Jessica Hahn simply because it's good radio. It makes him another Jim Baker. We're saying, shut up, Howard. New York's had enough. Okay, listen, I don't have any problems. Free speech, uh, the same way I have free speech, but am I going to lift? Is Kathy Lee going to lift a finger to get me work? No. Am I going to lift a finger to get Kurt Chaplin or Jim Buff work? No. If they decide to apply for a job at a company where I am valued, am I going to, uh, am I going to help them? No. No, why should I? Why should I help Jim Buff or Kurt Chaplin? Why? why? What reason? They decided to take up a war against me. They tried to bring me down. They tried to take money out of your pocket. They stole from me. Howard panders to people's worst instincts and profits off the misery of others. He was once exciting and new, and now he's boring and rich. Hey, look out. That's from Buff, who I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting that he knows so much about you. Jim Buff, uh, unbeknownst to me, applied for a job here to be Dave Herman, our afternoon disc jockey's producer. I don't know why Dave needs a producer. Dave spins records. I'm not sure. There would be nothing on the show if Dave didn't have a producer. Really? Dave can't even get up anymore and get the records himself? <laughs> Dave has gotten very used to a good life. You know what I mean? Uh, Dave can't pull records. He's Dave Herman. Dave needed a producer. I guess Jim Buff's radio career against me didn't work out, like so many others who have been Unfortunately, crippled. Unfortunately, he had been wrong. Right. You were not tired. Not ready for a replacement. We feel Howard is a negative influence on New York, a toxic problem. Why would you want to work with me if I'm a toxic problem? So, you know what the problem is, Robin? If I allow everybody who just dumps on me to come work with me and I turn the other cheek, well, I'll be the world's biggest sap. I'll be encouraging others to do this. Mm -hmm. Anybody who thinks radio is in a dog-eat-dog -dog business is absolutely out of their mind. 
Jim Buff, uh, in an effort to keep his job, wants to come in and apologize to me. I'll hear his apology. Oh, geez. That will go on right now. He's here? He's here right now. Oh, you haven't discussed this with me. Oh. I haven't discussed it with you because I... Um, I uh, I have. No, I want to hear what he has to say first, and then I. This is between me and Jim Buff. Excuse me. When he talks about this show, he's talking about me. No, he says he wasn't talking about you. <laughs> Hello, Jim. Hey, Howard. Hi. I've never met you before, have I? No. And uh, you are now the producer of the Dave Herman Show. I got to be honest yeah. with you right up front, Jim. If I had known that you applied for the job to be Dave Herman's uh, producer, I would have. Uh, I would have axed it right away. Mm-hmm. I would not have encouraged it. And I think you can understand why. I can. Why, if you get away with it, why, if but you... But why would he want to work here? Yeah. Why do well, you want to well, work the, with a toxic but, problem? But those comments weren't... I mean, I don't believe them. They were just... To, we were just trying to pick a fight. We I wanted see. you to talk about this show that we were doing so that people would listen to us. Mm -hmm. And so I don't honestly believe those. I'm actually a fan. So when you came to my press conference, and uh, not you, but uh, Kurt, mm -hmm. I suppose you were in on it, though. Uh, mm -hmm. When you came there, you were a fan... But you disguised the fact that you were a fan by attacking me. So you lied. You well, tried it, to get an audience by lying. It was, it was a, a bad attempt at doing what Stuttering John does. I see. It was not, I, I, it was not a good idea. Now, if someone's a fan, why would, they, why would they... I don't understand something. If I'm a fan of something, I go on the record as saying I'm a fan of it. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why somebody would well, we attack didn't think me. Any, we didn't think anyone would pay, pay any attention if we said we were fans. But, when but why we not said do we your were, own thing? But when we were said, well, the show we were doing, we were leasing time. It was our own money. We invested money. We had investment money. And we needed to get attention fast. All right. Would you think I and was that a... that got us attention fast. Help me out with my problem, because I have a problem now that you're here. Um, would you think I was a sap and a fool if I didn't have you fired or if I didn't do, make every effort to have you fired? Did you, would you think I was a sap and then that way I'm saying to other broadcasters, go ahead, badmouth me all over the place, make any kind of false accusation you want, even if you don't believe it, and don't worry, you can be hired by this company? No, you would I, think I was a sap, right? No, I don't think that, no. What, what, what am I then? Well, I, you know, we sent you a letter of apology two years ago, and I would hope that you would like to say, Apology well, was understand. not accepted. You didn't get in the uh, newspapers apologizing. No, you sent a private letter to me. Right. All, the, all the press that you got, and you got considerable press. Mm -hmm. And uh, it hurt me when I saw it was Kurt. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you. Mm -hmm. But uh, I got to tell you, because it's not too many people I bring over my house, mm -hmm. especially, uh, you know, uh, other broadcasters. Mm -hmm. Kurt might be probably, beside Robin, the only other one that's ever been over. I don't even have Fred over my house. <laughs> I can't stand to have Fred over. Jackie broke in this past Christmas. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> well, all the locks have been changed. <laughs> in all fairness, I, don't th I feel like I would be an embarrassment to myself to my family, and to my friends. And when I got the apology letter, I took it and I laughed. I just, I just said, this is a goof. This, this guy must think I'm a sap. So he can attack me, try to ruin me, try to do anything he wants, and then I'm supposed to go, okay, i got to be gracious. Well, I, I don't think we tried to, to ruin you. This company tries to ruin me by bringing you in here because I know that this company has a policy. When you say something bad about this company, you don't get hired here. That's the policy. When you say bad things about Infinity Broadcasting, the owner of the company says, he will never work for me again. Yeah. He will never work for me again. Apparently, that uh, Infinity umbrella doesn't cover you. And I look bad. I look bad because now you're working here and you're a guy who needs a job. I wonder why Suddenly, you would try to sneak in after doing all of those things and saying all of those things to just sort of sneak in here. Have you been nervous here. about this? No. I, Were you nervous I'd find no, out? No, I don't think I tried to sneak in either. Did you think that I would be upset? No, I think you knew. I, you know, no, I had here, no idea. I've been here since January. Had no idea. Honestly, had no idea. I didn't know the name Jim Buff. Mm -hmm. I knew Kurt's name. Mm -hmm. If I had seen Kurt, I would I would have walked out of here. I never would even live here. I, would, I, would, I couldn't even live in the same building with that guy. And so what I want to say to you is the following. I have been put in an awkward position once again by the company. They've done it to me uh, continually by hiring Imus. Uh, grease man, who is a despicable animal, who is nothing to me. He is a, is a, he is a maggot. Imus is a freak. He is a copycat. He is an unoriginal. He is nothing. My brain is five billion times larger than his. His is a flea to compare to my brain. I have originality. I have been the, I have been humiliated constantly by the company. Because I always turn my back. And I want to say, apology not accepted, Jim. I want to say it. He didn't even apologize yet. Oh. 
Did you apologize yet? <laughs> uh, he apologized in a letter. Well, well I didn't wrote. see that letter. I, I saw the letter. I he was here for a personal apology now. Oh, are you? He has hardly yeah, said anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, What's the apology? I, the, I'm terribly sorry that we, it was a terrible idea. It was, uh, I believe that we should never have tried to make our name at your expense, and uh, I felt bad about Especially it. Especially if you're a fan. I don't mind if you're not. And then why come work here? Listen, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Apology not accepted. That was a terrible apology, sorry, by sorry the way. Well, I didn't get it. From now on, if I run into you in the hall... He says he's not finished. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Is, right, is there right. anything I can do to, that would make this an acceptable apology? Because I would. I, I Go into that, Fred's that bag and find out if he has any material. Oh. <laughs> no, no. No, in all seriousness, not that crazy. I, can't be, I can't be magnanimous about this one. From now on, if I see you in the hall or I hear your voice, you it will be the wind to me. In other words, it will be as if the voice is not there. You see how I hear your voice now? Mm -hmm. I will never hear your voice again. It will be as if the wind is blowing. I, this is how it will happen. Here, you say something to me. Just say anything. Say, hey, Howard. Hey, Howard. I don't hear anything. Ah, I just felt a gust of wind across my face. I feel wind. I don't hear anyone. I don't see anyone. I just felt wind. Well, I feel That's bad. how I will be. And uh, uh, I can't influence this company over who they hire right now, but my contract is up in September, and the prerequisite will be that you're gone. I don't understand why I have to put up with crap of being humiliated by people who hate my guts. I can't walk around the hall by pe with people who, who yeah, I, but I, the, I don't uh, hate the you. The few things we could say about Infinity Broadcasting, uh, you know, at least this building we work in, and we didn't mind seeing whoever worked here until right. now. Right. Yeah. I don't influence well, who they hire. Listen, well, the company, listen, the company has no problem embarrassing me. I have obviously done something wrong in a previous life. I have been a good trooper. I have always performed well. I think they love well. every, every, every no. indication I no, get. No, they no, love no, you. no, no. They don't love me. I make money for them, but they don't love me. Love is a different thing. Uh, you should hear how they talk about you in the hall. No, 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 no. If this company, if I was the son of you the people who ran this company, <laughs> they would never hire the people they hire. Not my enemies. Especially Imus. Imus is dirt. He is a scuzz. He is the worst human being on the planet. He's unfunny, he's a bore, and he steals all my material. And I had him dead until they pumped life into him. So I'm an employee just like you are. Mm -hmm. Believe me, they don't love me. They like the money I make, but they don't love me. Love is different. Love is saying, hey, Howard, we're not hiring your enemies. He said something bad about you? He's dead to us. Let him rot. Let him go into broadcasting hell. That's love. That's love. If, if I had a child and the, and the child was attacked by somebody, you think I'd let my child near that? They don't think of me as their child. They think of me, they don't think of me as blood. They think of me as an employee. And as long as I make money for these guys, I'm in. The day I don't, I'm out. This company doesn't love me. They don't love me, Jim. They like me. They don't even like me. I got news for you. Tom Chiasano does not like me. He does not like me. As a human being, he talks behind my back and says he doesn't like me. I bet you he does. In his mind, in his deepest part of his mind, he doesn't like me. I, I, what I hear, he likes You know what? You. I don't like me. <laughs> what do you think of that, Jim? Tom, don't come in here and tell me you like me. Oh, you know I do. No, you don't. You, you know don't like me as a human. Liar, absolutely. He loves you. Like you like the money. Like you see him. dollar signs. No, no. That too. Admit it. <laughs> that, that too. Do you like me? Yes. Do you love me? Yes. You don't, because you don't are part me. of the problem. You're no. not part of the solution. <laughs> Please, I'm talking to Jim now. Thank okay. you. Because soon I won't be able to hear Jim's voice, like I don't hear yours. Tom lies to me like that, like the same way the woman had a lie from the Red Cross and said I was a good person. <laughs> she didn't love me either. But I'm going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. Jim, I'm sure in your world you're a nice guy. I'm sure you got your own set of morals and all this. I got mine. I feel rotten about this. Yeah, I know you do. You should, because this mm -hmm. has got to be, I got to use you as an example. Right. In other words, so what am I, a piece of carpet? People just walk over? In other words, so you, you made statements about who's going to be next? And are they going to hire him next? Anybody who makes bad statements about me, they hire? They hire my enemies. They don't love me. And I, you know what? If you had been really scared of me, you never would have made those statements. If you knew that someday you couldn't be hired by Infinity Broadcasting, you would have kept your mouth shut. True? Uh, I, I don't think so. Oh, we, I know so. I think we were thinking, our thinking was a little off at that time. Right, at so the I time you were thinking you were going to be big and you were going to take over New York and everything. Yeah. So then, in other words, you were trying to kill him. Right, of course. 
people. They were trying to make a name off of my. Listen, I don't mind that. You want to take shots at me, take shots at me. But, but don't expect don't to come work and with work me. Work with you and yeah. take your money. Well, listen, I don't own this company. I can't rule on who works here or not, Jim. You understand that? I don't. I am just a. I'm and a maggot. Why would you, it, it, you know, I just don't understand. Even if you had come into the press and said, you know, I like Howard, but I think I'm better. That's not saying he's a. You know. Worthless. Yeah, it was a He's pretty tired. vicious. It was, it was a vicious attack. Yeah, but the, the point is, it was a lie too. He claims he doesn't believe, didn't believe it. Broadcasters even then. would be afraid to make these remarks if they knew. Now, this company that we work for, very powerful, it's a powerful Big. company. What are they on? Like thirty stations. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of stations, and if deregulation goes further, they might own three hundred stations. And let me tell you something. A lot of these guys would keep their mouth shut if they knew they couldn't work here. Would you want them to keep their mouth shut? I mean, you beat them where it counts. Oh, no, I don't want them to keep their mouth shut, but I don't want them working with me. Mm. That's how I feel. I don't feel I should have to work with them. Hey, they took their shot. I won. Hey, if you won, I'd be sitting there looking for a job. Well, we, we never. But won. I won because I'm a winner. I'm a winner. You're looking at the world's biggest winner. I'm not a loser. I'm a self-starter. I'm a self-starter. Mm -hmm. That's what I am. You're looking at a self-starter. You're looking at a guy who came up from nothing. I grew up in the blackest neighborhood, blacker than Africa. <laughs> Africa, now, Africa has lighter skin people. Howard, please. You go too far. Well, I came up. Mm -hmm. I didn't grow up in no lily white community like you. <laughs> That's right. I know. Didn't I can pick have them out. the luxury of saying things and then taking them back, did you? I grew my up father, I grew my up father yelled like at me. Did. My father yelled at me every day. Called me worthless and a piece of garbage. Mm -hmm. I went through that abuse so I could be great. Mm-hmm. I was like in the military. You were in the militia. You're not kidding. <laughs> With General Ben. I didn't grow up spoiled. <laughs> Listen, I know the consequences of what I say. When I say something bad, I know I'm not going to get to work for those people. That's it. I know it. I'm taking that risk. I believe in myself and I take that risk. But I'm certainly not going to encourage other broadcasters. So here's my here's my uh, thing. I can't listen. The company wants to keep you. They got to keep you. That's what they decide to do. I cannot I cannot say they can't keep you. When I run a company, I'll be able to do that. I might someday run a company. It'll be a disaster, but I'll do it. <laughs> so if I see you in the hall, I will not say hello to you. I will not hear you. I will not. I, you are you are nobody to me. That's all. Oh, That's sorry. the way it works. I'm, 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 I'm sorry too. By that. Uh, well, listen. It'll it, next time. You got to think. You got to say, hey, is it worth it? Well, I got to do that for me. Now, don't start okay. feeling sorry for him. Look at you. I I feel bad for the guy. I feel bad for I feel bad for hatchet murderers when I see him sitting in the chair. You do. But it's 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 over between me and Jim. It was over the day he opened his I mouth about me. I wouldn't feel bad about anybody who said those things. Can I like be on things? probation or something? No. Can I earn no probation? Time, like no earn your probation. Respect back or no. something? No, 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 no. You shouldn't even be here, but you're here. That's the company's decision. You decided to dig your own grave. That's it. To hear that you were starving and homeless would be a pretty melody to me. <laughs> You're guiltier than O.J. <laughs> to me. Well, I'm sorry, you know, you, you, you're pissed and you have a right to be. Yes. It's bad enough Robin jogged on my face, oh. now you. <laughs> I didn't put it in the paper. That's true. <laughs> Wrote it in a best-selling well, book. I mean, I, I, what? I'm, I'm not Linda Ronstadt, for crying out loud. Worse, mm. worse than Linda oh, Ronstadt. Oh, no, no. Worse than Linda no. Ronstadt to me. Uh, well, I never played Sun City, first off. Well. And, and her comments were, you know, personal. Mine weren't. Sounded pretty personal. Well, it was, you know, it was Jim, we, we should trying to pick You know what, Jim, Jim, we should never even had this conversation because the company never should have hired you in the first place. They put me in awkward, they put me in awkward positions every day. You have no idea. You're, yeah, you're right. I don't. And I'm sorry that like I have to be like the the straw that breaks the camel, yeah. camel's back. Well, listen, uh, the, the straw that broke the camel's back was Imus. You're 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 not even the straw that broke. Don't even compliment yourself. That broke this. That that was the straw. They know it. They decided to do it. That's it. I'm sitting and biding my time. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. That broke my heart. That killed me. He was gone. He was out of my life. And that was the only reason we were working this awful shift. And now I have to read articles. 
Howard Stern and I must work for the same company. I got every time my name is mentioned now, that moron's name is in there. The guy doesn't even pull. He pulls a three share to my 7.5. He's nothing. He's garbage. You are not lower than him. He is lower than you. He is the Frankenstein monster. This company gave him life. Artificial life. He was dead. He's still dead. He's as dead as they are. He will never be big again. I saw to that. I took his whole audience. Right, Robin? That's right. That bastard taught him that lesson. But the company had to revive, revive, revive. Pump, pump, pump. They don't love me. They don't. I'm a broken man. But I'll rise again. Right, Robin? You're not broken, Howard. Right. There you go. Nobody can break you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm like a worm. I have no backbone. I can, I can, swir I can, I can squirm right you're back like, in. You're like steel. Right. <laughs> they may try. Jim, I wish you luck in your job. Work with Dave Herman. I know it's exciting. Mm -hmm. Good luck to you. Luck to you. Good luck to you. I'm wishing you luck. Mm -hmm. But you and I don't have to interface. Well, I hope that changes. I hope that you have a change of heart somewhere down the road. And perhaps it'll happen. Yeah, he, you could save his life one day. Right. If I'm jumping <laughs> off a bridge and you catch me, I don't even think that would repair it. Well, I would anyhow. Yep. I would try. I'm thrilled you're stuck working with Dave. <laughs> it's jail with a CD player. <laughs> That's your cross to bear. <laughs> I'm sure you got a very nice life and all of that. And uh, listen, good luck to you. And I'm wishing you luck and all that with your job. And maybe the company will love you better than they love me. Maybe they won't hire your. Maybe they won't hire your enemy. Well, I think they love you a lot, even though you don't feel it. You right. Know. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Nice sure. to meet you. And uh, thanks for having me. From now on, uh, thanks I didn't hear me the opportunity. I hear to something. Apologize. I don't know. I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. You can go queue up smoke on the water. <laughs> Get ready for Dave. <laughs> Don't drive carefully. Thank you. I didn't hear any answer, so I guess no one's in the room. I hear wind, that's all. I hear wind. Well, I don't hear anything but wind. That's all I hear. Now I don't even hear the wind. Wind left the room. Wind left the room. <laughs> That's how, I, and that let that be a lesson. Any other broadcaster out there thinks big wise ass. I don't care. Say what you want. But don't expect to come in here and start talking to me like I'm your pal. And just shake your hand. Ganji, don't even interview him afterwards because it, I won't hear it. You should interview a blank hallway. <laughs> you understand, Robin? On the That's E right, show, you'll yeah. see a hallway. Empty. Empty hallway. And they'll say, how'd it go? Doesn't and nothing will nothing. come back. Wind. <laughs> <laughs> uh.